Hello, Liz. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. It's been like two years. Yeah. Speaking with USA Fox again. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. It's a new channel. Okay. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. Mm -hmm. So how has it been? Same. 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 Crazy. <laughs> For the people who haven't seen your previous uh, interview, could you give them an update? Let them know who you are, where you're from? And... Uh, I'm from I'm Liz. I'm 40. I'm from Beverly, Burlington County. Um, I've been out in Camden like two years now. Getting high. <laughs> Okay, you've been out here for two years. Yeah, since I uh, May of 22, I came out here. And you say you're from Beverly? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's all coming back to me now. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> so what was it like growing up out there in Beverly? It's normal. Like, I guess my mom, let's see, my mom was like an addict and everything like that when we were growing up too, so. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like, this wasn't really that much different. <laughs> How did you end up here? Uh, I had a bad Mother's Day and came out here and just never went home. And I started to crack and then started shooting up and then <laughs> just never left. <laughs> Tell me about that day, that bad Mother's Day. Uh, my baby dad wouldn't bring my kids to see me. And I was uh, I was actually working. I worked for 20 years. Waitress and everything like that. And he wouldn't bring the kids to see me and everything like that. And I came out here and started smoking crack and forgot about everything and stayed. <laughs> Is that your drug of choice? No, no, speedballs. Speedballs, so yeah. that's that's crack uh, and the dope No, mix. that's uh, cocaine and uh, dope. Or cocaine fentanyl. and dope, yeah. Okay, I say crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I guess my crack too, but... <laughs> How often are you uh, using speed balls? A couple times a day. Multiple times a day? Yeah. How much are you spending on the substance? Uh, probably at least, I don't know, probably like at least 100 probably a day at least. Give or take. It depends on the days though. Depends on how much money you make. And how are, how are you managing to accumulate money? Anything. Normally like, out here I was doing fetishes like sort of kicking people in the ass and <laughs> you know, doing like walking Broadway. You said fetishes? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Um, There's one guy who comes out here and I kick him in the butt. Uh, <laughs> and I get paid to do it. <laughs> and stuff like that, yeah. Oh, so just, beyond car or dates. Trick. Yeah, yeah. They take you to hotels or something, Yeah. Right? Wow. And how much does he pay you for that encounter? It all depends. The more public it is, the more money you get. He likes being humiliated. You said the more, compli more yeah. complicated, the more money? Yeah. He likes being mutilated? No, humiliated. Oh, humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are like other people that come wow. out here. Like, how but, often do you see that guy? Uh, probably like once or twice a week. And then there's other guys that come out here. Like one guy, like they have like foot fetishes. They have all types of shit out here. No stop. Sorry. <laughs> so he's like a regular for you. Yeah. <clears throat> you ever get tired of this lifestyle? I know you yeah. are by now. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Living I was actually talking to the people uh, uh, Trooper yesterday about it. I was like, I'm starting to like, yeah, getting real tired. I'm getting marks and everything like that now. <laughs> when you get that hundred dollars, does it all go to drugs or? Probably like 75% of it at least. <laughs> What's your current living arrangements? Um, I live in an abandoned house. What's it like staying in an abandoned house? That's all right. Well, I have all my stuff in there. At least it keeps me out of the rain and stuff like that and I'm cold, but I still want to go back to like regular life. You got any uh, any running water at all? <laughs> no, no, but luckily my girlfriend lives right around the corner, so I go to her house every day. Okay, all right, all right. Um, as far as the abandoned house, like uh is it like a bando it's like a rundown yeah yeah it's like a bando but it's not like like it doesn't like leak water or nothing like when it rains like that but it, it, it's cold in the winter <laughs> oh you've been staying there for years for yeah for like a year and a half the same one are there multiple bandos out here or? yeah actually yeah some of them are really bad though and some of them aren't that bad though Has it been hectic on the streets? Yeah. Is it dangerous? It's crazy, yeah. It's, 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 you think people are your friends and stuff like that, and then turn around, and if you got something they want, then they are, but if you don't, then they don't care. Yeah, the last lady I interviewed just said she got robbed from her for her shoes and oh, all yeah. her possessions. Yeah. I got left at the rural farms and had to walk home all the way up the highway last night. <laughs> How did that incur? Because I got out of a car, I went to the store, and came back out, and he was bald. But he had my purse and everything at his Is house. With a date? Or yeah. So a date robbed you, pretty much? Yeah, my whole purse, everything. Everything at his house, <laughs> everything. <laughs> And I had to walk all the way up the highway from Rural Farms back to Camden. And that's in Brooklyn. You know why he left you at all? No, well, he, I think he was a couple in the parking lot and he was, he was drinking when he was driving to home. Um... Have you seen him since? No, I thought I saw him drive by last night and I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Get your possessions back. Yeah, right. right? Uh, the man happened to take you to his house? Yeah. I mean, I left my purse there when we went to go to the store. So we we're only going to Royal Farms, and then I came back out to my, my purse, everything. But I, at least I had the money, though. <laughs> that, that I made sure I could, to let me go. My, my purse, like everything, all my stuff that was in there. Does your dates look at, uh, 
does your dates look at it as a relationship? I think or, some of them might, but then other of them just look at you like a trick. As a business. Yeah. yeah. The ones that do look at it as a relationship, do you kind of like Dude, leave I, them some on them, a little them, bit? Or? I don't know. Some of them like, I actually consider like, I've been known for like a, a year, over a year now. So some of them are like, I don't know, I consider kind of like a friend a little bit, but not really. Because they still look at you. I, I guess I get tricked still. <laughs> do your dates use drugs too, or do they be clean? No, no, most of them are clean. You said most some of them, yeah, some clean. of them like some of them like uh people will pick you up like like uh, guys that smoke hard like crack and stuff like that they'll pick you up and like try to pay you and like drugs and stuff like that too. I don't, I can't do dates with people that smoke crack. They just hate me. They're retarded. You say you can't do dates with people that but smoke yeah, like, crack. Yeah, like no, okay, they get it all tweaked out. Cause they don't what? They get all tweaked out and they oh, start yeah. like skitching out. Yeah, it's, I can't do it. No, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. What's a normal day like out here for you? Waking up, trying to get money. Getting high, over and over again. <laughs> Same thing every day. When do you plan to like leave this life behind? And no, know, I'm getting really, really tired of it. Together. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come home from the. Uh, he's in the county right now, so I'm waiting for him to get out. He should be coming home. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Yeah, same guy since before. Okay. We've been together for two years. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't know if I remember seeing him during. No, nah, he didn't. No, nah, he didn't do it. You said he's been locked up for two years. No, no, we've been together for two years. He's been locked up for like a month or a month or a month and a half now. What is he uh, right, locked up for? Uh, violation of probation. Okay, yeah. I'm assuming he should be home. Yeah, eventually. he should be coming home. Hopefully within this week, I'm hoping. Okay. How was that, having a boyfriend and doing the dating stuff, too? How, how does he feel about it? Uh, well, he tries to do anything he can. Like, when he's out, I don't do it. Okay. And then... Uh, out of respect when, towards him. And yeah, stuff. yeah. And um, how is he managing to get money? Is he an addict? addict? Yeah, he's an addict too. Um, he, uh, he, uh, he hustles, he traps, he sells drugs. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear I you. said he, uh, he sells drugs. Sells trucks? No, drugs. Sells but drugs. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He works on the steps and stuff. With him selling drugs, I'm assuming he'd be giving you free bags and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, so it was, I didn't have to do anything. And then it was just, I was getting high all day and then he got locked up and then everything just stopped. <laughs> He's making a lot of money doing that. Is that why he... Uh, that, yeah, that's why he's uh, got probation and stuff like that. He got caught twice. And you said he's addicted to the substance as well? Yeah, yeah he does. He's still able to, to make money? And oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was making... The, well, where he was working, they were making so much money, it didn't matter. We would get high all day and still have money to come home with. So it was better for you. Did you have a, a place to live at that time? Or no, we were still staying in the same house because it was easier just to Convenient stay there. To stay yeah, because the didn't up. have to worry about paying rent or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Are there other addicts that come in? Oh, we don't know. We don't let nobody else stay in there. Oh, nobody. Because we, we did that before, and then they came and they, they boarded up the doors. And then I right. had to pop them again. Right. Okay, you try to keep everything to yourself. Yeah, yeah, because when you let people in and they just don't know how to, like, I guess, live like that, and they, the cops see it, and they come and they, the city boards it up the next day. Have you had any overdoses lately? I didn't get Narcan, but I, like I didn't like have to like go to the hospital or anything like that. But yeah. What was it like? I, know, I just blacked out for like hours. Like I woke up and some of my friends found me uh, like sitting in the the front yard of the abandoned house that I stay at. <laughs> at least I was like I didn't have to like I was I didn't like flatline or nothing like that. Thank God. Liz, where do you see yourself in the next six months? Uh, hopefully out of here because I'm getting real tired of it. Like honestly, I'm getting real tired of it. If you could make three wishes right now, what would they be? Uh, go back to my kids, get clean, and get out of here. I'd like to thank you for your time, Liz. Thank you. It's been a wonderful interviewee for me once again. It's good seeing God you again. bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. Hi, guys. USA Fox here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.